Hello dear viewer, I'm Lee Sasa and welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons War of the Eternal Sun and welcome to the um, City of the Dark Elves. Oh, now, I, this is just rude. I'm trying to do an intro, you bloody elves. So what I was about to say was, I had a little plan and everything. I was going to say that this is, it's a horrible colour scheme, okay? It's the sort of colour scheme chosen by people who are A, very evil, and B, spend their whole time in the dark. <laughs> oh dear, oh my goodness, what a mess. Yeah, so it basically someone's, either they've taken inspiration from the Aztecs, though not the Aztecs, they are the A Azcans? Yeah, the Azcans. And uh, all the Azcans are taking inspiration from them and thought, this colour, this yellow colour is not purple, pur no, not evil enough, we'll add some purple to it. So yeah, these, um, these guys are, uh, this, now this place is an absolute warren. Okay, it's a maze. So the problem here is, so we're basically, I think, in the bottom left corner. And I think we're going to go east. I'm pointing, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to point on the screen. Uh, somewhere towards the middle, I think, there's a, there's like a concentric room or something, like a mini pyramid, something like that. And that's where we go out from here. So we've got to fight our way through here, and then we're into the last caverns leading towards the tunnel. Okay. But the problem here is this place is a maze. There's loads and loads and loads of rooms and lots of doors, and it's got a high percentage of elf per square meter. That's the problem here. So we're going to take it. So what we're going to try and do is clear out this bottom left corner that'll be in the corridor and in the rooms enough that we'll be able to rest down here. Um, yeah, pop back here to rest each time, basically. I mean, I was wondering about... I see you. I was wondering about the Dark Elves. I had to look this up with the... Uh, online. Not that we do much damage. They seem to be dodging all. Does he even do much damage? Let's see how much damage he does. A little bit. There we go. Um, so these are doors. I don't think there's a lot of traps, though in this place. It's just lots and lots of rooms. Um, the Dark Elves, I was wondering, so what we've seen so far is that there's a lot of weird species in the... Oh, someone, someone a mile away got hit. There's a lot of odd species. How far are those arrows and slingshots going? Here they come. Yeah, there's a lot of odd species in this place, and we know that part of the reason for that is because, of course, it's a... Nothing's turning up because we, um, we woke it up. Why are you making noises now? Okay, let's back off one in case something comes from the side. Um, we know that part of the reason for that is because it's a, it's a zoo. Yeah, we've, we've heard that already. So... The idea is, of course, that extinct species and things are here. So we have the primitive beast men and like saber tooths that are no longer in the world. And I think especially the flap cells as well. I was trying to look up about flap cells, what they were, and it seems like they're unique to the game. So they're supposed to be, I think, also. Come on, round the corner. You kind of thought lieutenants and captains, you know, you've got to have some regular elves as well. It's a bit top heavy, your, your military organisation. Oh, I see you. There we go, some warriors. The dwarf is healing faster than you can do with it. A second lieutenant! Oh my god! <laughs> Still more officers than, uh, than anything else. I feel like we wandered a bit far here. I think we came in from the yeah we came in from the bottom left I think yeah so we've got, I'm not really cleared this out the place out very well I was wondering if maybe the um, if the elves can the um, stop hitting my cleric I'll teach you second lieutenant just kick him if the captain's a partly extinct race because you know we've seen all these uh, things um partly extinct species, but I don't think so. I don't think they count like that, do they? Oh, there we go. But they appear to be the caretakers. 
that are doing the work around here. Why they're doing the work for the um, for the tunnel, I don't know. I mean, I did hear that. I did read rather that they're a very martial society. It made me think a little bit. Um, Mormon, stop it! Sorry, Aki, you keep getting a good kick in, mate. We'll deal with them, don't worry. There's very little loot in here, by the way, as well. I should give you the ring, really. There you go, look after that for a while. You can heal up a bit. Yeah, so they seem like... I, I would imagine maybe that... The elves have got a slightly different view on how the, how the place works. So maybe it's that they like the idea that uh, it's the survival of the fittest. Because you're getting all these species out of out of the distant past. It's almost like making them fight. Come on, give me the death noise. Someone's getting constantly slapped. <laughs> How many people are down there? Like a bus queue or something I get down there. Okay. Cleric, heal thyself. Or oh, use the magic ring to heal thyself. Yeah, there's very little loot in here, so I'm not worried about that. Apart from what any elves might drop. So many distractions. I mean, are there being more elves than this? That's always a problem because you can never seem to clear them out to be able to uh, to deal with them. So no one's in front of us, or to the side of us, rather. Some of the elves being worse as well. I mean, they're a bit tough, aren't they? But... Oh dear, stress. Ooh. A basic sword. Well, I'm n there's no point in me dropping it. Because, um... I've got spare slots in my inventory, I'll just pick it back up again. But all these symbols are suns, aren't they? Which made sense for the... Oh! Let's, let's not hang, mess around with this one, shall we? Um, I don't know what sort of magic they use. But if they anything like our magic users, it could be pretty painful. I don't know, magic, magic missile there, but... Yeah... This is probably more of the problem. The fact that we're going to we accidentally attract this attention from further away. I don't realise. Whoa. Well, that had to be a fireball of some sort, didn't it? Um, and that's the sort of thing we're worrying about. So we're already on Dark Fairy. So the previous one was a magic user. Magic! And this one's a wizard. So I'm guessing the wizard is a higher rank. Like we met sh shaman, shamans or shamans if you like, and wokans in the uh, in the forest, didn't we? In the jungle. That did a, a fair bit of damage to us. Did about ten damage to each pe person. Okay, this is what I'm in about. not going too far. We're going to retreat down the corridor and try to rest up. There we go. Now we're alright with the spells. Um, we just don't want too much of that because that could be, you know, it wasn't a hugely powerful spell. But 
didn't seem to hit the back row, did it? Didn't hit Dark Fairy. Either that or she's got a high magic roll. I don't know how magic ro anti magic rolls work in this game. If there is such a thing that you can. I mean, I can imagine if someone's trying to mind control you, then your willpower would be a reasonable stat to use. You know, or your wisdom in this one, rather. But, if someone's casting a fireball in your face, <laughs> you can go, I don't believe it, as much as you like. I, I disbelieve your fireball. It's still going to hit you in the face, and it's going to kill you. Yeah, whether you like it or not. Maybe you can be... Depends on the, I guess on the game rules. I guess you could have game rules where, you know... Um, you could say simply your. It depends on what magic is. Is ma are you if you if magic is making something out of nothing, yeah, out of excess thought itself. Oh crap! We're quite a long way away from. We're a cut. We might get hit by a fireball again because we are two people away from the magic user. I should really keep a magic user in an active slot. Um. Ugh! Wow, that hurt. Yeah, we're about to lose a cleric if we're not careful. I'm not even sure if he's actually been stunned or not. I can't. I don't think there's any way to res our people. I don't think there is. And if we lose the cleric, that's really bad. Obviously, we can still heal, but we'll heal up slowly. Yeah, if you could, um, if your rules for your universe are that um, magic is literally making something out of nothing, and something can be, it's all to some degree illusory. You know, you are you are being affected by the magic because it's a it's a it's a it's something created out of the ether. Like um, the idea of like fairy gold turning to lead in the morning or vanishing in the morning or you know magical food looking and tasting delicious but doesn't give you any nutrition that kind of idea then you could say I guess that you could disbelieve something. Oops. Oh come on. But if, it, if it's more that the shift ducky to the back of the party. I think it's safe to rest here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, heal thyself. No. Um, you know what? That would keep us going a bit longer, wouldn't it? Um, we should use anti-magic more. And we should be using bless more. I'm being sloppy. I'm being lazy. Is what I am. Um, yeah, but if you've got a magic universe where you are creating fire just out of the ether, then it's still fire. Tough, you know. Um, so as we're going to keep poking our faces into rooms, Let's just keep, let's keep going with this. And I, we can't cast at anybody else, unfortunately. But it might help a little bit. Who knows? Maybe it does affect everybody, even though it's only Pokemon. I, again, I, I do recall now that there was something I used to do where I would, the first time I went to a cave, I would cast AOEs like protection from evil um, on the party and then go into the cave because when you do it in the wild it's an AOE effect and it would cover them for a, you know a while otherwise we can just leave the 
or if we leave the cursor, the next party member, on someone who can cast a magical spell. And hopefully that means that we can get the next wizard before he wizards us. And immediately I pressed the wrong button. That's the problem I did last time. I skipped past my the team members who could have done something about it. Because what I'm doing is I'm seeing an enemy and reacting with a finger press. Um, rather than thinking I should cast a spell. Because it's just obviously an enemy rather than it's an enemy wizard therefore I should do this. That's what it is. So in fact it's okay to leave the cursor on the dwarf. Can I get hit from the side? Because... Oh! Nice! Not anyone wants to use any chain now but you know if you wanted to it's there. Um, What's this? I don't know what I was saying. Rambling as usual. Rubble, 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 rubble. Rubble, 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 rubble. That's what's going to come out of my mouth, pretty much. Bloody maze, look at it. How are we doing for this mapping? I don't know why I'm searching everywhere. I, the, okay, so I am going to go through all the rooms if I can. Because I want to try and push some... One or two of these chumps up a level. If I can. Because, um... I don't want to. I think it's a good idea. You know, we're going to... You're going to have a harder time, an easier time, on the last levels. Oh. I do not remember there being multiple floors. I guess we shouldn't be too surprised by that, that I've forgotten something, but... Okay, got him in time. Should I be happy about that or not so? I'm not, I'm not happy about that. I don't know. Maybe this is quite a small bit of dungeon then, but I thought it was really big. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll find out, won't we? We'll discover. Oh, you... Okay. <laughs> you know what, mate? Fine. If you feel better about being behind your little web, you know, you do you. <laughs> he probably panic cast like I do. <laughs> oh, I can't leave the room now because the spell's there. The spell decay after a while. Am I potentially stuck actually? Because I can't get out of this room. Does the spell know to go after a certain amount of time if I'm not in the same room as it? Yeah, it does because. There we go. Because I was just thinking, you know how sometimes I can't get through a door because the creatures behind have moved? That's fine. You know, they've, they're, they're, they can still do things behind the door even though I can't see them. I see you lurking. Do you think they can cast from a distance? If not, that's the big error of these. That's going to be a wizard, isn't it, really? The amount of hits he's taking. That's the big negative of a wizard. Is that Doofus doesn't know that he can cast from a distance and therefore annihilate us at range. Then again, you know, we haven't got multiple enemies attacking us either, have we, really? It's, it's pretty generous. 
I mean, a few more rooms with like enemies on both sides, like they did with the, the gargoyles and the ants and other things, when they were attacking from multiple angles. They just haven't done much of that, which is jolly generous of them. You probably have forgotten about it, but please give the uh, dwarf back his ring. There we go, he needs a bit of healing. And drop an item, let's see what glorious loot has been has been left for us. Oh! Now! It's red, by the way. I think that's better, you know. It is, because, he's already wearing it by the way, he's automatically put it on, because minus two is, so plus one chain mode is the same as plate armour, actually maybe plus two chain mode is, you know what, I think that Aki could have been wearing the plus two, should we have a little, little stats play shall we, let's see if we drop this, okay. Minus two. I don't know. I think the, the plus three chain is as good as plus one plate. So I put it on Rampage just because it's it speeds up. It's a lighter armor. In the wild you can move further. And it might make a difference to attack speed. I don't know. And I've dumped the plus two chain because it isn't as good. But there you go. So if we find no other loot down here at all, that was a nice game. 